all right guys it's Daryl Wildman back here for another YouTube video and as you can see in the title we got a brand new feature that Chris has added to this game which I find pretty interesting I think he could have added more different features besides this one but I think this is a feature that most of you many of you guys would most likely like um it's no other than upgrading your cars past the limit so now instead of you upgrading your cars what 10 levels whatever which is very cheap to do well it depends on the car i think it the most probably cost about two million but yeah so it's going to be five stages in order to level up your car pretty interesting um as you can see right now i'm gonna go to upgrade this is my stage five maxed out mclaren senna it's about 50 upgrades in total and you have to get parts to to um, level up the stages of your car so you could disassemble the car you know it says disassemble this car you press that button you get about I don't remember how much points, parts you get per disassemble, but here's the thing, it's gonna be very expensive to do this, it's not that easy. Throughout this video, because I'm voice overing this video right now, I don't have time to set up my whole face cam and everything, but throughout this video, you're gonna see me um, max out a car to stage five, just like that. It's not gonna be as easy as you think it is. Like I said, it's gonna be very expensive to do. For stage five, you need about you know, matter of fact, let's go back here, right? So for like, I don't, I don't know. You could just you could assemble the, just assemble the car. You're gonna get points. You're gonna get parts to make to level up the car, right? It's gonna be very expensive to do. Like I said, let's go back to a regular McLaren. You see, it's not even stage one yet. It's not even maxed up yet. But I will max up to test the different speeds. So right now we're gonna max up to stage to. We're gonna, we're gonna level everything up to ten, right? But we're not gonna max up the stages. So we can show you compare different speeds between them both. Basically, you, you could go up to stage three. It's about ten parts for stage one. Um, twenty, I think. Yes, yeah, ten for stage one. Twenty parts for stage two. Thirty parts for stage four. I mean, thirty parts for stage three. Forty parts for stage four, and then fifty parts for stage five. So about a hundred parts in total you would need to get your car to. Um, stage five, which means you'd have to disassemble your car about ten times in order to um, max it out to stage five. As you see right now, we're going to disassemble the McLaren Senna a lot of times until we get to about a hundred points, hundred parts. I keep saying points in order to max it up to stage five. Now here's the thing, like I said, what makes it so expensive, right? So here's the McLaren Senna now. It says buy for one coin. That is because I'm on beta. Beta stuff is cheap. It's one coin to get to get any of the new cars that's gonna be in stars. Or any new car that comes up there, I, I can buy for one coin, right? But here's how it's gonna be very expensive for you guys. Um the McLaren Senna is gonna be in bio cars, so you can't even get it from stars, right? That's one. Same thing to Lamborghini still. So in order to get another McLaren Senna after you just disassemble the car, you'd either have to spend $60 on bio cars, or you could um Get the car from somebody who's selling it you see right now i'm not gonna buy all cars i actually i'm just processing it i didn't mean to tap that don't worry about that i'm gonna cancel the payment i'm not broke i could buy it but also beta purchases are also free so but it have mattered anyways but yeah it costs one coin for me but for you guys it's gonna be either 60 dollars or when the update first drops mclaren said it's gonna be selling for a lot of money i should say about almost 300 maybe even 500 mil when it first drops who knows how much people were priced it to buy it's going to be very expensive for you guys to do. So on top of that, you'd have to have 10 McLaren centers. And you'd have to disassemble. Turn it in just to max up the car to stage five, right? So before we even do that, right? This is a base stock McLaren center. We're going to go back to the main menu. And we're going to show you the top speed for this McLaren Center, which is about five, whoa, which is about 280 miles per hour. You can see fully, uh, nah, not fully stock because I, I upgraded it, but uh, maxed out McLaren Center, not even stage one. This is just base. The top speed should be 280 miles per hour, which isn't that bad, but it's slower than a Lamborghini Stoke. See, let's go test the stereo out now. You see 280 miles per hour at the top speed we're gonna max out at. Which is coming to about now 280. 270 down 280. You press turbo, you get 280. So even if it's turbo, you never really have much of a speed difference, right? 
So now let's get back to the main menu. Let's switch over to my fully maxed out stage five from McLaren Senna and test the top speed for it now. Now watch when the car starts, the car might jump a little bit. Well, actually it won't, the Senna's too balanced for that. But watch the difference in speed though. Look how quick we get to 100, as if it's the F1. 200, we almost hit 200. We only went like one block or two blocks right there. So now let's go test it again. You can see by stage five, we should top out about 300 something miles per hour. So let's find out. We have 318, 319 miles per hour, right? The top speed before is about 280, so 290. From 280 to 290 is 10, from 290 to 300 is 20 from... So basically, depending on the car, it basically gives you about, what, a little 30 to 40 mile per hour difference. Which isn't that bad, like, it's not anything crazy. When I first got, when I first updated beta, I didn't know what it was, so I thought I became an admin and I had, mo and I had modded cards, which was not the case at all. This is just a new feature that everyone will be getting. But yeah. I guess it's gonna be very expensive to do because when this comes to cars that you only can get from stars or bio cars or buy from other people it's gonna be very hard to max out that car so right now we're gonna disassemble my bugatti bolide and we're gonna keep buying it and disassembling it until we get enough parts enough parts to max it out to stage five so i didn't max out my bugatti bolide yet so we're gonna max it out right now so i accidentally deleted both of my bugatti bolides which was a mistake but we're gonna buy them back both of them back and we're gonna keep buying parts and disassembling the car, right? I can keep in mind, it's only so cheap because I'm on beta. When it comes to you guys in this car, it's gonna be very expensive to do. I think it's gonna cost over two billion, bro. You see, I have two billion on my account. It's gonna be very hard to do that. Like, plus keep in mind, you have to upgrade the car to level 52. You have to keep this, you have to keep getting more cars, so. The cheaper cars are obviously gonna be easier, like a Fiat or something, or any cars that's cheap that cost cash from the garage. If you have two billion, you're maxed out like that. I've maxed out some cheap cars. Nothing hard about that. It's cheap, right? But when it comes to these expensive cars, I don't see anyone. I don't see any regular player maxing out any of their cars to stage five unless they come together as a group with their crew. So people could donate this and that, helping get these cars. Because you need at least ten of each car to get it to stage five. As he's at stage five now, and you see the upgrades up to level 50, and it costs a lot of cash to get this up to level, level 50. I'll tell you, it's gonna be very expensive to do, but it's a very useful feature, in my opinion, because now instead of having the boring set speeds where you can max up to stage five, and race is gonna be very interesting. Very interesting, if you ask me. Because when it comes to the drag race and stuff, you don't know who has a stage five car or not. I don't know if it'll pop up in the trade thing or not. I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, so you can see we have a regular level up, maxed out um, Bugatti Bolide. We're gonna go in free play and we're gonna test the top speed, which should be about 389 miles per hour, 390 something miles per hour. Actually, my first video I uploaded about this Bolide, the top speed is only as fast as the AMG, right? But watch this. Chris has updated beta and the top speed is gonna be even faster than an AMG. So we're zooming right now, cool, cool. 340, 350, 360, 370. And here's where the top speed changed. Before it was only about 380, 390. Watch this. 390 miles per hour, right? Now we turn to nitro and we're touching 400 on the dot with the Bugatti Bolide now. And that's a regular Bugatti Bolide, not even stage one, it's a base Bugatti Bolide maxed up to level 10. That is insane, bro. I would have never thought we'd touch 400 in Bugatti Bolide after, you know, update drops. So let's back out of here and let's go to the stage five one. Stage five, fully upgraded Bugatti Bolide. Let's go test out the top speed for that. Off rip, you already see we're zooming if it. We're gonna head to the highway. Let's test out this top speed. Look at this, bro. Already about to touch 300 miles per hour. Pushing past 400 miles per hour, the top speed is now 400 and. 
38, 39, 439 miles per hour, bro. That's insanely fast. There is no car out right now that goes past 400 miles per hour for any of you guys that don't have beta. Only us beta users, which is the team members and me. I'm the only YouTuber on beta. Can get to test out this car that has 400 plus miles per hour. That's, damn, yeah, excuse me. But that's insane, bro. Who would have thought we'd get this much of a fast car in game? Now let's go test out the F1. I only have one F1. A stage five maxed out, but we need a regular one in order for us to, you know, test it out. So we're gonna have a regular stage, a regular one. So we're gonna max it up to, matter of fact, we're gonna disassemble this about 10 times and max it out. We're not gonna max it, we're gonna disassemble it and we're gonna level it up. We're not gonna stage it up. We're not gonna rank up the stages. We're gonna level it up to level 10. I'll upgrade to level 10 and then we're gonna test out the top speed once you get enough parts because we need about 100 parts in order to upgrade your car to max out the stage 5, right? 